And the reported enormous offer that Saudi Arabia has made to him. They're talking about a five-year deal worth $200 million per season. Untaxed money. One billion euros for Vinny to sign for Al Ahli in the Saudi Pro League. That is an insane amount of money. Now, from a Real Madrid fan POV, we cannot sell him. Under any circumstances, do I want to see Vinicius leave this club, right? You can't tell me that we go out there and sign Mbappe on a free, right? We're building this dream team, and then you're going to lose Vinny the same summer? Absolutely not. For me, he's one of those players that he's off the market. You guys know when you play FIFA and when an offer comes in for one of your players that you want to keep, you just press the triangle button. Block all offers. Like, that. you can't even receive bids. That's what we need to do with Vinicius. I don't give a damn what Saudi are offering. If they want him that badly, guess what? Vinny has a 1 billion euro release clause in his contract. If you want him that bad, pay the release clause. Then fair enough. Look, if you're willing to give us a billion for Vinicius, fair enough. You, you can have him. But unless those conditions are met, I don't want to hear anything about us entertaining the idea of selling him to Saudi. Vinicius is one of the best players in the world. He is going to win the Ballon d'Or later this year. He just led Real Madrid to our 15th Champions League, won La Liga, won the Spanish Super Cup, cooked Barcelona, by the way. This guy's an absolute monster. He's him. This is Vinny's team. He's the face of Real Madrid. There's no way I think he leaves right now. But I would be lying to you if I told you that 1 billion euros is not enough to turn somebody's head. Are you out of your... Look, I'm not an idiot. A billion. If Vinny takes this deal, he will be a billionaire. Do you know how fucking crazy that is? 200 million a year. I think a lot of fans, right? We get things confused in terms of how we view the sport versus how actual players who are out there view the sport. This is their job. They're doing this because of how much they're getting paid, right? Like, no player is going to go to a club and necessarily say, yeah, give me less money. No, most players, 99% of players, they're here to get as much money as possible. You're only one bad tackle away from your career being over. So, in a hypothetical situation, if Vinicius was to want to take this offer, I couldn't blame him because this amount of money is ridiculous. But I really hope that he turns them down. I'm praying that he turns it down. But I just don't think the club are going to sell regardless. I know I saw a report that said Florentino Perez refuses to negotiate with Saudi. Like, if they want him, they'd have to pay the release clause. Because when you activate somebody's release clause then you don't even have to negotiate with the club. If you agree personal terms with the player, you pay that release clause, you can take them. But Florentino Perez is like, yo, bro, I'm not talking to y'all. Are you crazy? You want to come take Vinny? Are you mad? But again, if there's any country that has the money to pay that $1 billion release clause, it's Saudi. And I like that we, especially in Spain, right? A lot of these players that have high potential that clubs sign to these long-term deals they do add these crazy release clauses, right? Like 1 billion. Because in theory, nobody's going to pay 1 billion euros for any player. Not for one player. That's ridiculous, right? Like paying 1 billion for one player should theoretically bankrupt you. And we don't want to be like Barca, right? We don't want to lose one of our best players for cheap. Look at how PSG came and took Neymar. Neymar's deal was only what? 226 million? If Barca gave him a billion release clause, maybe he would have never went to PSG. But his release clause was high, right? Because that still is the record fee. But it was low enough to where PSG felt comfortable to pay that because their money is long. And I think, again, if they want him, pay that $1 billion. And when I've been seeing the reports about Vinicius being linked with the move away 
Because a lot of people want to speculate that it's not going to be able to work out between him and Mbappe on the same team. I think that it will work out. I think Carlos Schlage is going to have these guys playing fluidly together in a front three with Rodrigo. But I know a lot of haters out there are hoping that this fails because you're jealous that your club isn't run as well. But here's what I'll say. When he was being linked with moves to Manchester United, PSG, right? Who else? It was a few other teams. I said, that's bullshit. He wouldn't leave Real Madrid to go anywhere else. But now that we're talking about the Saudis, and we know that they have a crazy amount of money to offer you, I think any player would think about it. Like If you actually think that Vinicius is at home right now, not thinking about it, I'm not saying that he will leave or force a move. But I know he's in bed like, yo, 200 million. He's probably, he probably won't make a billion in salary his whole career. Let's be honest. That's a lot of money. So I think he is thinking about it because you'd be a fool to not consider it. But I just hope that he rejects it. And I hope that he's happy to stay here. And if I was Real Madrid, what I would do is give Vinny a nice little bumper deal. I'd give him another extension. Right, maybe bring his wages to like I think he's on 400k. Bring it up to 500k. Right? I mean, it's nowhere near how much Saudi was going to be giving him, but fuck it, you know, give him something to make him feel a little more nice. You know what I'm saying? Add a few more years to that contract. Because in theory, if Vinicius was to leave Madrid right now to go to Saudi for one billion, that's what they're offering him. Can anybody blame him? He's already won everything that there is to win. Right? He's won multiple Champions Leagues. La Liga, Club World Cup, Spanish Super Cup, Copa del Rey. Like, what else is there for him to do? He's conquered club football. But I hope that he thinks about it like this. He's on track to be one of the most successful players in Real Madrid history, right? He's only 24 years old. If he stays here another eight years, look at all the, look at all the trophies that he's won already. Imagine how much more he can win in the next decade at this club. He can retire, and he can be the player that has the most trophies in Madrid's history. And I hope that he kind of factors that in. Because, look, even though Madrid can't pay you $200 million a season, what we can offer you is a bigger football legacy, right? What we can offer you is a home that when you retire, you know, when all these players retire, Generally, you have a home club that you can go to. And, you know, even after you retire, the fans still love you. You might get like an ambassador job or you might still want to be involved in some capacity. That's what we could be for Vinicius. And I hope all that is worth more than 200 million because, oh, my days, if we lose Vinny, I will lose my head, bro. By the way, if Al Ahli are willing to uh, pay that money and if they do get this deal done, hypothetically, this would be a statement signing. You just signed arguably the best player in the world from Real Madrid. Do you know what kind of move that would be for the Saudi Pro League? And if I'm being honest, that league is competitive as fuck. I know, I told people all the time, bro, the Saudi League is super entertaining. You got about five or six teams there who are spending the bag. But I don't think when he goes, at least not this summer, right? Maybe in a few years from now, this is a deal that he may take. But right now, I just can't see it happening, bro. It seems like everybody wants Madrid to lose their best players, right? We're seeing rumors about Vinny. We're seeing rumors about Rodrigo. Florentino Perez. You cannot let Vinny leave this season. We got to at least see a few seasons of him. Mbappe, Rodrigo, Jude, Kemavinga, Chuameni, Brahim Diaz, Arda Guler, Endrick. We need this. Saudi, stay away, bro. Stay away. There's a lot of other players that you can go out there and get. Leave my man alone, bro. But what do you guys think about this? If you're Vinicius, would you take this deal? Because, boy, I'm thinking about if I would take that deal. I don't know. Me and Madrid might have to have some talks if I was Vinny. It's a lot of bread. So let me know what you guys think about this down below. Would you take a... Okay. If you're Vinicius, would you leave Real Madrid for a five-year, one billion euro contract? I mean, it's tempting, bro. Definitely. I, I think he's thinking about it for sure.